All right, everybody, so welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I finish my van conversion. So I'm super happy about that. Follow along for the rest of it. I'll show you how I put the rest of it all together. So today my objective is gonna be to try to insulate all of my doors. So the two back doors and the sliding door. Kinda wish I did that before I installed the stove. That's all right, we'll make it work. So for the doors, I just bought this big pack of fiberglass insulation and two sheets of plywood. And my goal is basically to try to cut everything down, stick in the insulation and just fire it into the wall. All the way back. All right, so each of the doors come with these little plastic panels that cover all the holes up. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and use that to my advantage. I'm gonna go ahead, pop them out, and then use that to trace onto the wood. Flying objects, just banging off. Popping out. Oh, and just like that, that's how you get them removed. I guess so. So I'm gonna use bottles of great stuff to go ahead and try to fill up as many gaps as I can't reach with a fiberglass. So let's go ahead, pump some great stuff into the doors. All right, so this is why I'm saving the plastic panels from the actual door. I'm gonna go ahead, trace these out on the wood so I know exactly the right size to cut. Let's go ahead and trace them out. All right, now we know we have the perfect cut for the door panel, so let's go ahead and start chopping down our wood. All right, so you can see why I saved the plastic. I have my panels perfectly cut down in size. Let's go ahead and get them all installed. Okay, and just like that, I have all the panels for my door cut and stained. All I have to do now is go throw some insulation in the doors and then put up our panels. All right, so next up, I bought this giant roll of fiberglass insulation. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to stuff this in as many little corners as I won't be able to reach once I'm ready to put up the walls. You gotta love the clamps, man. They help you in every scenario. All right, so finally my doors are all insulated. So I did the sliding door and also the two back doors as well. I cut insulation down to size and then I just basically cut some panels, fired them into the wall and I did the job. All right, so I did actually sleep in the van the other night just to kind of get a feel for how everything goes. Um, and one thing I realized is that even though my bed is so high up and I'm 6'2", I kind of want to step to jump up on the bed. So in between the stove and the bed here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a little foot so that I can just easily hop up into bed. So let's get to it. So I ran out of my regular construction screws and I've been using these little trim screws. And you know what, they do just fine. Okay, so before, when I had to get up into bed, it was just hopping all the way in, like so. And that's not always super easy. And then getting down, it's okay. Now with my new step, all I have to do, put one foot and I can climb on in and get comfortable. So, it's perfect, let's keep on working. All right, so the same way I soldered my sink, I made this copper curtain rod. So I bought this insulating blackout curtain. It just comes over and shuts like so, and it does a really great job of keeping up the light, and then I just use these clamps to hold it in nice and tight. I also went ahead and built this overhead liner, so this was really easy. This was just all leftover wood that I had laying around in the garage. I added some supports right here and screwed it directly into the headliner. So this is gonna be excellent for dry foods, anything else I need, so this is perfect storage. Just like that, my skateboard has been mounted without drilling any holes into it. So 
Got my art underneath my cabinet, starting to come together. All right, so I bought this mosquito netting off of Amazon. And technically speaking, it should fit perfectly in the doorway. So let's go ahead, get this mounted up and give it our best shot. All right, so not only did I get mosquito nets for the side door, but I also got screens for the back door as well. So I can have airflow coming in and out while keeping all the bugs out on those days in the bush. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and install this smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. Because I'm using a propane stove, in case there were any leaks or anything, I do wanna make sure that I prevent myself against the silent killer, carbon monoxide. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Fire. Warning, carbon monoxide. And what else goes really well with the smoke alarm? A fire extinguisher. All right, I got my fire extinguisher installed, nice and tight on the wall. Hopefully, this will always stay there. We never actually want to use that, but it's good just to have one just in case. All right, so today is the day I have not been looking forward to. Since the day I bought this van, it has stunk like the old plumber's vehicle that it was. And finally, it's time that I removed the stench. So let's get to work and let's clean down the entire van. All right, so finally I got the entire front of the car cleaned. Everything is as spotless as possible. I cleaned up all the kitchen, everything on the floor. I wiped down anything that might have any sawdust, anything from the building, because now it's officially my home. All right, so thank you so much to my buddy Charlie for the gift card to Lowe's. Bought myself a nice little soap dispenser. So officially, water pumps just fine with no leaks. And I have a soap dispenser. It's finally time to say goodbye to these ugly old seats because when it's gone, it's gone. And in with the new. Wow, so check it out. Got rid of those old grimy seats and all I did was just throw a seat cover on top of them. And man, they look so much nicer now. They smell better, they're cleaner. And then I went ahead and threw a cover over top of my steering wheel as well just to kind of clean everything up, make it all look a little bit nicer. So everything is nice and clean. She looks like a brand new vehicle. Well, brand new for 2011. All right, so just for the night, I hooked up a spotlight. I have everything set up. My mattress is in place. I threw in some blankets, and this is gonna be my first official test of sleeping in the van overnight. So let's give it a shot and enjoy. All right, and just like that, night number one in the van was a great success. Okay, so the reason I'm sleeping in the van now, even though I'm not technically living in it yet, is because I really wanna feel comfortable in the van. I wanna make sure that this feels like home. So when I hit the road, I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel out of place. So everything will be ready. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm Tad and Matt. I'm Emery Holland. I'm Adriana Holland. I'm Diane Holland. I'm Libby Curtis. I'm Jason Max. We rented the house Are next we? door and no, had the pleasure of meeting Jordan. Um, one of the greatest neighbors, people that you could possibly meet, um, engaged in conversation, but very true. We, we did kind of hit it off with a coconut. My daughter wanted to <laughs> taste a, uh, the, the coconut milk, gave us a grill, let us shave the coconut, help us out with that. What? You went From there, the continued conversation, um, <laughs> engaged in plenty of conversation over the next four days. And so what do you guys think about the van? The van is epic. Um, the story that goes behind the van is even better. Uh, you have a 19 year old man here that has accomplished more than most adult living human beings know. The epic journey that this van is going to take in life is, the story is not created yet. The story of making the van, the bed, how he's gonna do the traveling, I think that's a very thin line to what the story this band is going to tell, the places it's going to see. Um, it's, it's going to be a great story. 
What brings you pure happiness? What is something that cannot wipe a smile off your face, that doesn't compare to anything else? What is something that absolutely brings you 100% pure happiness? Family and friends. My family and friends, because uh, they show how much they care and just make me laugh. These four, my dad, my family, like, when I'm sad, they always try to cheer me up and took my friends. My happiness is mostly my friends or Raven and my family. I do. Because anytime I get sad or just mad or sad, Raven is always there and Raven's always there to like make me feel happy. Who's so Raven? Who is Raven is my cat. <laughs> so your so your cat brings you the best happiness. Very nice. Because he's always there and he always rubs on my legs a lot. I would say the genuine smile on my kids' face and their pure innocence. It's just there's so much joy that they bring to life. You know, it sets you stronger than ever. I don't know. Puts you back to where life is about hard, but the next generation, you know? So seeing them smile and enjoy life just makes it all worth it. So as long as your kids are happy, yeah, they're happy. Yeah, I'm happy, yep. The places we discover from no paper mesh is really awesome. Yeah. When it comes down to it, these four and a missing one, but their laugh, a genuine laugh from your children doesn't matter where you're at in life, doesn't matter what is going on. They can always lift you back up. Genuine laugh. I'm not talking, you know, one of those, that was funny, let's chuckle for a moment, but one of those genuine, in the moment, if you hear any one of these four people, plus we're missing one, any one of those laughs could change my whole world upside down. And for life, this is it. This is what will always be my happiness. All right, guys, so I met this amazing family here. They are renting the house right next door to my mom. Um, and I just want to say, you know, they're a very, very amazing family. We've had some amazing conversations and honestly just spread happiness overall. So, hey, guys, it was a pleasure meeting you all. And thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Pleasure meeting you. Today. Awesome. Bye. 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 This guy's awesome. Until next time. All right, so last night I gave Jason my phone number. So Jason, what is my name in your phone? I put him as the most humble human alive. And for real, if you ever get the chance to meet this man at 19, definitely take the time out of your day to have a five minute conversation. It could change your life. And in, in my definition, true happiness is family. Family is happiness for them. You, you can't take I love happiness. It doesn't change, it won't go away ever. Man, so what an amazing family. Um, we really just hit it off, so it all started out. I was out here working on the van, um, and Jason came over and said, hey, I bought my daughter a coconut. Any chance I can use your drill? I'm like, of course you can use the drill. Um, so then the kids came back over, we cracked open their coconut, and ever since then we just had fun. So we all went swimming in the pool, hung out, had a great time. Um, so I just wanna say thank you to this wonderful family. Um, hope they're watching this, and uh, you know, just keep on living, keep on spreading happiness. Remember guys, happiness is just the key to life. Okay, so today is a very exciting day because today is the day that I finish the van build. So finally the power source that I have been waiting for, my solar panel has arrived, and finally my Jackery 1000 has arrived. So I'm gonna be using the Jackery 1000 to power everything in my van from my fridge to my fans to charging my phone and my laptop and my GoPro. I chose the Jackery 1000 because this has everything I need in one piece. It has the inverter, the charge controller, the battery storage, everything one could possibly need built into one system. And no, this is not a sponsor by Jackery, but I swear by their products. I think they're amazing and it truly is everything that I need. Traditional solar setups with the inverters and the charge controllers and the many batteries go for a minimum of about $2,000. And that was just not something I was really comfortable with spending. So by getting the Jackery 1000, I have everything I need all in one system. It's super easy, super portable, and I'm really excited to get everything hooked up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the LEDs in and let's finish up the van build. Okay, so last but not least, I bought this LED strip. All you have to do is peel off the tape, stick it onto the wall, and all works well. So they're super low power. I'm gonna go ahead and plug them into the Jackery. So let's go ahead 
mount them up all along the ceiling, wrap them around the entire van. We have the remote, and three, two, wow, look at that. Wow, so I'm super, super stoked with how the LEDs came out. And honestly, that's pretty much the last step to the build. Um, so I just got some little finishing touches to go, uh, but it's pretty much finished. So I'm super, super happy and, and it's just looking amazing. I, I, I can't stop smiling, it looks so good. Yeah. And for those who are curious about my bathroom situation, I will try to use public restrooms as often as possible, but sometimes if you gotta go, you gotta go. So I have a toilet seat with some compostable bags on a five gallon bucket. And these are my restrooms. They're nice and easy, gets the job done. I cannot believe I can finally say this. The van build is finally finished. So starting off in this van, we started off with an absolute rust bucket. I went ahead and cut out the floors, welded in new floors and took care of all the rust. Then we spray foamed, framed, insulated and everything, put up walls, installed the ceiling fan and really did a lot of good work. All right, so I will be doing a full tour video once I'm officially on the road, but for now, let's do a quick little montage and show you everything inside the van. So finally the van conversion is finished. So I took this 2011 Sprinter van which was an absolute rust bucket and totally transformed it into my beautiful house. So I cannot say thank you enough to everybody who has supported me in this journey. My dad, my mom, my family, everybody who has listened to all of my non-stop talking about this entire van build. So officially April 5th I will be hitting the road and I'm very excited. So thank you guys so much for following along and thank you guys so much for all the support. Follow along for the rest of the journey as this has only been just the start. For the next six months, I'm gonna be driving north to Maine, Maine to Washington, Washington to California, and California to all the states in the Midwest. So if you guys are interested in my travels, if you guys are interested in all the things I wanna do, please follow along and I'll see you soon.